Hey guys, I'm Oko and this is Beginner's Guide Tips for Diva. Now, to begin with Diva. Diva is Diva is a awesome character in Overwatch. I'll see you at the finish line. I'm just getting warmed up. She has a mech, she has two lives. Diva one! Zero. That gives you a really good advantage over your enemies, but only if you know how to use her. And wait for reinforcements! They won't get here in time! <laughs> GG! Okay, now the one thing I really noticed with Diva is that you gotta take big advantage of her defense matrix. Because her defense matrix is very important. It's almost like a shield in a sense. It only lasts a certain amount of seconds, but... I'm with you, Bucket. I'm with you. I'm eating up your bullets. Eating up your bullets. You got some time to get out of there? But here's the thing. Now, if you are using D.Va and you have their Reinhardt player or an Arisa player with you, if their shield goes out, you literally have your Matrix used for that amount of seconds so your teammates can either get away and get covered by hiding behind you. objects in the game Ryan, that can't in. get destroyed. Lucio's back in, Lucio's back in, so it's Mercy. I'm coming back to you guys, come back to you guys. Or you can wait until the shield gets back up, whether it be Reinhardt or Orisa, and then you're back at it again, right behind my shield or Orisa's, or Sigma's, and you just keep shooting. I'm trying, I'm trying to get the bullets. Oh, I tried to, I tried to Matrix you. I'm sorry. He was down. He was down. So, someone's back here. Widow's over here. The widow is down. Is this ours? And I think it's ours. Can eat that? Good game. Now another thing is Diva's boosters. Diva's boosters used to be five, but now they reduced it down to three. I'm ready for GG. 
And same with the defense matrix actually, the time has gone down, so you can use it a lot more now. With the boosters, it's really important. Diva, Diva's a dive tank, but you can't really dive with her like you used to dive with her. Like you literally need to only dive when you see a very good opportunity and there's not enough enemies in the area where you are going so you can get away right away. Going on point. They're going on point with your reform. Ryan's by himself. Let's take him out. And um, it's really good to stay with your team. It's really good to stay with your team. Winston? Hmm? Uh... What's on your mind, May? Do... Do we have enough people for this mission? As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. If you're going to show, now would be a good time. Attention! This is your captain speaking. Because, for instance, when I play D.Va and I am with a teammate, if they need help, I Matrix, I made, I could put Matrix on them. It's really good to use Matrix on your own teammates rather than just sucking it up from, from uh, so, you, so you don't get damage. Uh, I've helped a lot of teammates that way. And, uh, you were able to um, win, win, win a lot of games. Now, Diva's rockets are really good as well. You can use, there are combos that you can use in the game. You can either rocket boost, because as soon as you rocket boost somebody, you literally push them away. And as you push them away, you can still hit them again. And as soon as you hit them, you can either melee them or start shooting them right away. You can shoot while you're boosting, so that's like a double whammy. There's a lot of combos that you can use. You can either uh, rocket boost, rocket boost and hit at the same time. That one's kind of tricky, but for a beginner's guide, rocket boost first. If you if you hit them, they'll get knocked back. You try to hit them again. That's another damage, and then try and then try to smack them with a melee attack. And while you're shooting with your flying too as well, that, that that's even more damage. Diva's bombs now. A lot of beginners say that it's really hard to use Diva's bombs, and it can be if you aren't really good with the element of surprise. Because here's the thing, you can't just launch your bomb in front of an enemy team and expect that you'll get a lot of kills. Now in some, in some circumstances you can, if you know exactly what you're doing. You know that the enemy can't get any cover, because then it's all rain for you, right? So like it's really smart to like try and get to a hidden location or let's say you have your team on one side of the map the one side and you go around the other side. So while your team is distracting them, you're on the other side and you can literally uh, launch your bomb. They won't know where it's coming from because it'll be focused on your other team. And then by the time they notice where the bomb is, it's pretty much too late unless they have a Baptiste or yeah, just basically only a Baptiste to come save If you like this, uh, these tip, the tips so far for this part one version, please smack that like button. If you're new and you, if you, and if you are new to the channel, and you like the tips, you like what you see, you like the music, you like everything, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the like, ring the bell, and hit that like button. It does so much for the page. Thank you guys so much for love and support. Now, with that being said, I am going to get out of here. Peace, guys. I'm too young to die. Is this easy mode? I've got everything under control. I've got your back. Kill streak. Game and hamyon. 이겨야지. Omo. Anmian. 아직 손이 덜 풀려져서 그래. APM 좀 올려볼까? 솔직히 스타로 아빠는 못 이기겠더라. 하. 이건 사기야. 다시 완벽하게 작동한다. 다시 한판 해보자고. 쩐다. 어, 짜증나. 어, 감사 감사. 올. 좀 멋진데? 안녕. 됐거든. 거기 꺼져. Last round. This is where it counts. <웃음> <웃음>
<laughs> Let's finish this right now. Let's get this payload across the finish line. Let's shoot for a new high score. Level up. Blizzard games? That's so old school. Oh, LOL. <laughs> Looking good. Looks like another victory. Just a little longer. Looks like I'm gonna have to carry. Minor setback. But we can still win this. Move the payload. Moving the payload. Let's party up. Multi-kill. MVP. Diva. 